Okay, short video, uh, selling my Land Cruiser. Uh, as you can see, it's got a lift kit on it. Uh, lift kit's a two inch, two inch lift kit uh, with an additional two inch spacers on the front. Uh, after, we f after we fitted the lift kit, we found that the front end was actually sagging down a bit uh, due to the extra weight of the bumper and the winch. So it's actually got a four inch lift kit on the front uh, as well as a two inch body lift. Tires, pretty massive actually, they're 35s, uh, 35, 12 and a half, 15s. Body panels, body panels aren't too bad. There's not, there's not a huge amount in the way of dents. Uh, plenty of scuffs. You see the panels kind of close up, they're all quite scuffed. But uh, it's been a while since I've been off road, but I have used it plenty off road. Yeah, I feel it would be a shame not to. Uh, rough wise, got a couple of bad bits. You see here, I don't know if actually this is maybe quite common on them or not, because uh, usually it would be hidden hidden by the bumper, we would hook on to that, but because of the body lift, it's made it visible. That could do with getting fixed. Uh, there's that pipe there, that's actually, I put that in. The filler pipe to the fuel tank was porous, so we replaced it with this flexi pipe. Oh, uh, in our arches, uh, absolutely immaculate. Anybody that knows anything about them will know they're kind of renowned for being really good, to be honest. Uh, as you'll see, you don't get a view, you can actually see the, you see the body lift there. And it's got all the extended springs on it as well. Uh, the, all the mods I've done to it include... Uh, DVD, Sanav, uh, both EGT and Boost Gauge. I think uh, that's what I've done uh, on the inside. Uh, pretty clean inside. Wasn't as clean this morning, but all been tidied out now. Again, very used, but you know, 20, 22 years old, so. Cargo net in the front. Uh, oh, inner cooler. Let me see there down the back of the winch. Got a big inner cooler. Main reason for the inner cooler actually wasn't a performance. Modification. It was more. I'd been, uh, I'd been watching a video about a guy. Then his turbo, his turbo had let go, and uh, fragments had went out the engine, and it destroyed his engine. Uh, and the engines are about two grand, which I know for definite because I sold one last year and got two grand for it. So the last thing I wanted was my engine going. So I had a, an old intercooler lying about. Uh, so I had a spare day. So. Fit the inner cooler to it. Uh, the pipe I used is flexi pipe, but it is the proper, the proper stuff. It's actually quite expensive. It's a hundred pound for I think four meters of it. I got batteries. Uh, I have never replaced them, uh, but they've also never gave me any problems. Uh, Aircon radiator was removed. It was in an awful state, and once I come back from off road and I noticed a huge amount of dirt and silt down the back of it, which couldn't really be cleaned properly. So, aircon radiator is gone, eh, as is a lot of the pipes. You see, there's still a couple left, but there's not much. Not much. All pretty clean under the bonnet, apart from kind of general, kind of mud and so on. Eh, it's been a while since I've actually been off road and in it. But well, I'm sure you'll know that. They're really good off-road. Yeah, I'll start it up. They all seem to start the same way. You literally just give them one tiny flick and away they go. That's 
say the sign now it can change all the angles and everything. Uh, there's gauges there. Windows. Windows are a nightmare. Always seem to be. They seem to have a, a mind of their own whether they want to work one day and don't the next. Uh, the best window is always my driver's one. Uh, until last week. It's now working sometimes and not. Uh, I'll probably have a look at that. Turn off you might be able to hear me. I think that's about it. Anything else you want to know, just uh, send me a message. Uh, I would be quite happy to sell it without all the lift kit and everything actually, all the modifications. I'd quite happily take all of it off because uh, the reason I'm selling it is I've bought another one, an import, uh, which is absolutely immaculate. So I'll be doing pretty much all the same stuff to it. So I would quite happily, I'd quite happily take all the stuff off it and put it on my new one. Uh, and all the stuff on it is actually really good. It's got really good tyres on it, which are actually quite a good size as well. Uh, the only thing I can't take off is uh, snorkel, because uh, obviously you'll have a, a big hole in the wing. Missing the two bolts there. Dare say they'll be going about somewhere. Uh, I've had the had the seats out at one point. Uh, we use it for camping, and the first time I took a camping, I took the back seats out, and we just used it for sleeping and lengthwise until we realised we actually fitted in with just the seats folded forward. All the four wheel drive works fine. As I said, anything you want to know, get in contact. Thanks.